Minister of Sport and Community Development, Shamfa Kojo, lamented that there are enough sporting facilities in this country for Special Olympics not to have a home and wanted to correct that by stating that the organization has to be respected for what it contributes to society. It's people with special abilities. Special abilities who go out there and do what many of us don't even dream to do. Who face the fire, get out there and practice, discipline themselves to participate in their respective disciplines. Chairman of Special Olympics, Major David Benjamin, said the organization is happy to be getting a place of their own and believes the move south will be beneficial to them. This move to the south, to the southern part of our country, gives Special Olympics an opportunity that we didn't see before. And that opportunity is to reach those thousands of young people in the southern part of the country that before said, I'm not traveling from, from Mayaro or from Labre or from Deep South to go to Port of Spain to participate in a sport. It didn't make sense. He believes the project can create a center of excellence for Special Olympics going forward. Cindy and Currency Digital Foundation representatives said being Digicel's first partner organization in TNT, they are happy to contribute to its continued growth. And we're so proud to be here today to see that they're now going to be afforded this opportunity to have their own space as a partner. I don't like to use the word sponsor because it's so much bigger than that. It's so much deeper than that. As a partner, we have now invested in this financially over 200,000 TT dollars to assist them with the storage facility. The chairman of the sport company of Trinidad and Tobago, Douglas Camacho, Thank Digicel for its continued partnership with Special Olympics, adding that he's happy with the move to establish its home in South Trinidad. Buskin Mark, TDT Sports.